Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be giving you a hands-on review of iOS 8. This is the first beta version um, that was released by Apple today, June 2nd, 2014. To show you that I'm running iOS 8, this is my iPad. As you can see, um, it just crashed, so it's a little buggy. But as you can see here, if I go to General About, it says version 8.0. Um, now this is the beta. I am an Apple developer, so I got it legally. I'll be doing a video on how you can get this in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Um, but this is the first beta. This is the hands-on review. I'm going to be going through some of the... Uh, main features for you guys. I mean, you know some of the top features that Apple is including. And from there, I will be doing future reviews. So be sure to rate thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. More features will be in the near future. These aren't all nearly um, complete. Apple has not included some features, and it's relatively buggy. So let's jump into what is included so far in iOS 8. So first off, the notification center. Top feature is probably interactive notifications. So in the notification center here, you can go ahead and swipe to the left, as you can see, to dismiss a notification. Um, you also will be able to reply to text messages in this general interface. If you get a little pop-up message um, from Facebook or a text message or anything like that, you can quick reply directly from the notification center um, or simply from the pop-up itself, which is a lot better than going to the app as it used to be, and you can dismiss individual um, notifications, which is good. Also, in the Today view, you'll be able to view widgets. As you can see here, this is a new widget. Um, this is the weather widget. Um, right now you can click edit and it will come up with a whole different list of things you can add um, or subtract like simply hitting the little remove button and it will be removed. You can add all sorts of widgets there which is great. I know a lot of people want widgets in iOS so it's great to have those finally included. So those are two very main features. Um, another feature that I can't really show you as I said a lot of features I can't actually show you um, is family sharing so you'll be able to open iTunes or the App Store um, buy an app and you can share it on all your devices different devices can request access to the app um, and send you a quick request you can allow it or trust it you'll be able to see who's downloading apps and where so that's a great new feature for families looking to do that um, the camera which I'll open here as you can see here um, this is a little, little uh, view of the basement you can go ahead and it has different exposure and focus here so you can go ahead and move your finger up and down for the exposure and move the focus around wherever you want, which is a great thing. Um, I like it a lot. It's very underestimated. It will make the camera a lot better, and I'm glad they included that. Um, also, they've included new health kit um, and home kit um, integration, which is not on the iPad currently, but is on the iPhone. You'll be able to control all different aspects of your house, similar to Nest, um, the temperature of your house. They've integrated it a lot into your everyday life, so you'll be able to adjust lights, um, temperature, all of that good stuff through health or home kit. And health kit, you'll be able to track your safety, how many steps you've taken, a lot more health features. You'll be able to see your uh, heart rate monitor, um, also be able to see the weather outside, all that good stuff. Um, the temperature integrated directly into iOS 8, which is very, very good stuff. Um, also, another new feature that they're adding is when you go into the multitasking view, you'll be able to see all of your most recent um, contacts up here at the top. I don't have any contacts on my iPad. I haven't been texting or doing anything on the iPad, so you can't see those currently uh, right now, but that is a great feature that they have added. Um, also, the whole keyboard has been updated um, to have quick type. So essentially what this means is when you usually have a keyboard here to type, um, you'll be able to type, you won't even have to begin typing, um, but if you receive a text or something like that, or if you start typing, a list of suggestions will come up here. You can simply tap those um, to finish your sentence. It's much, much faster according to Apple, and they made the keyboard a lot better. And also, you will be able to change your keyboard um, in iOS 8. So generally speaking, if you go into General, uh, sorry, it keeps crashing. As you can see, it's a little buggy because it's a brand new iOS 8, um, which tends to happen with betas. If you go to general and then keyboard, you can actually add new keyboards here. Um, and this is how it always used to be. However, now you'll be able to add custom keyboards. They're saying you'll be able to add swipe. You'll be able to add the old keyboard. This is a feature people have wanted on iOS 8 and iOS for a very, very long period of time. So it should be a great addition to the iOS family. Um, and a lot of people I know are going to like that and enjoy that. Um, and overall, um, right off the top of the head, my head, those are a lot of the main features that Apple's including in iOS 8. Um, they are updating group messaging to have um, the ability to remove group members, uh, send 
Snapchat type videos, which are short videos that delete themselves, or short photos that delete themselves in iMessage. Um, group messaging will be more streamlined. You'll be able to send voice messages, all that good stuff, similar to WhatsApp. Um, and the Photos app actually has added editing. Um, those features I still can't show you. I'll do a future review on those. But overall, this is the main idea of iOS 8 right now on my iPad 3. I'll be doing a review on my iPhone and my iPad 3 later when more betas are released. So stay tuned, rate thumbs up, and subscribe for that. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, Google Plus page, Facebook page, and blog channel down there in the description. It really help, helps me out, guys, and I really appreciate it. And finally, um, be sure to... Uh, stay tuned for more content and check out the description to get paid iOS or Android apps for free. And stick around, guys. I'll come back with more reviews in the near future. Peace.